Uh, here's some of my honeybees. Uh, this is the, the carniolan sort. They're a, a real sweet, gentle-natured uh, type of bee. Ted McFall has been around bees all his life and now keeps about two dozen hives in Whatcom County. And his appreciation for these creatures is why what he found in November of last year hurt so much. Dead bees littering the ground outside a hive near Custer. As I looked a little bit closer, I noticed that they had their heads chopped off. They had, had been totally slaughtered. The only real explanation in my mind that it could be is the Asian giant hornet. The Washington Department of Agriculture can't confirm that because none were found there but says the first Asian giant hornet in the U.S. was found at the start of December just a few miles away, one of several collected in Whatcom County. It's pretty certain that we have uh, a nest established somewhere in Blaine. And that's a big problem. These hornets can tear through honeybees with such ferocity it earned them the nickname murder hornet in some circles. And this is our window, experts say, to keep them from establishing in the U.S. Once they latch onto a colony, it's pretty much dead. Uh, you know, two or three or, you know, six Asian giant hornets can take out 30,000 honeybees in an otherwise healthy hive. The Department of Ag is setting experimental traps right now looking for queens, which can be 2.5 inches long. They think they'll be most successful looking for hornets this summer, though, and then working to wipe them out. And I've seen the term murder hornets thrown around a lot. How do you feel about that term? Not a big fan of it and not not for the reasons you might think. Uh, our biggest uh, hope is that people will want to learn about this. And if you do a Google search on murder hornets, all you're going to find is the original article and the ones that spun off of it. For, from my perspective, it does a disservice because it won't help people get to more information about it. And he wants people to learn about them because the impact of this hornet is potentially huge. If those colonies are able to spread, there will be more decimation in the bee population. And of course, the bee population is intimately linked with the food supply. Ted feels a little conflicted about the nickname, but less so after seeing what happened to his bees. On a personal level, I do hate those Asian giant hornets so much that I have no problem calling it a murder uh, hornet myself. Michael Crow, King 5 News.